What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to the next test server session here in War Robots, in which I want to have a detailed look with you guys at the Aokin. Another one of those, or the third dragon robot that will come in somewhere near the end of January, if my information is still correct. Uh, it could be changed, by the way. And it's the one that can fly, obviously, as a flying dragon, uh, and spit a laser beam at 600 meters, similar to Scourge. Uh, probably with more damage though, and then we have four light weapons, which is a lot of firepower, but you don't have any resistance or any stealth ability during your flight, so there's a good chance this robot may get shot down very quickly after it starts flying, right? And as if this wasn't enough, and that's a point that really gets me a little bit upset, is that this one only gets one passive module, while the already more powerful flagship the one that has more firepower, more speed while flying, more HP, more everything with stealth. This one gets three passive modules. Why Pixonic? Why aren't you not using it to allow a Raijin, for example, to carry three passive modules, whereas some player who loves his Raijin can say, okay, it may not be as powerful as the Ares right now, but I could make it live up again with these modules. Why, by the way, while by the way, the Ares, the Spectre, or the Aoshin-Jun they really don't need three spec uh, passive modules at all because they're already the flagships. They're already super dominant. And I feel like, sorry to say it, but I feel like Pixonic, you're missing out on a great opportunity to use the module system for something very positive to tweak in-game balancing without actually changing the robots necessarily, but just adjusting by the amount of module slots they have. And clearly, the Aokin would have needed three passive modules because it will be struggling without any stealth or resistance during its flight. It even has less HP than the Hover. Uh, let's jump into a battle and have a look at the Aokin and in some nice gameplay detail and see if it's true if it gets shot down the second it lifts off right here nice okay so this is uh this is canyon it's not actually a bad map for us to choose start start with because um we can for example yeah i'm gonna start down here with some long range lasers because we have now five weapons with 500 meters uh, 600 meters lasers you know because the built-in laser doing the exact same thing so uh, let's start off and fly. There we go. And you see the red laser in the middle is the one who does the uh, uh, the other damage, pretty much. Okay, I'm being hit by from the distance from an Ares, it seems. I'm trying to hide myself here. Okay, I feel like this is a good spot to sit because I can't actually be hit here. That's interesting. They can't hit me here. See that? He's, uh, he wants to hit me with his, uh, his weapons there, or would like to, but uh, he's not going to. And now we're going to kill the Ares because he ran in here without his shield uh, active anymore. So Brink is flying up and attacking this guy with all five laser beams at the same time. That's quite some damage. Quick switching to the next target right away and then killing him as well. Now one problem we have right now is the Scourge is reloading. And, uh, but I want to get this guy. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, why do I have to retarget now? I don't understand. Uh, I thought I was, uh, I was already in, uh, in safety here. So, here we go, flying up. Okay, I don't know, um, it just keeps target. This is the targeting system, ladies and gentlemen. It keeps getting me, it, it keeps targeting uh, enemy robots that are by far out of range and can't even be you uh, hit for me. So, wow, this guy just got a whole bunch of damage. Okay, nice. He's destroyed. So, let's get going here. Uh oh, we have him right here, too. Okay. Oh, what? Oh, come on. Why did you do this, sir? That could have been a really good... Okay, now I have to retarget. Um, the, uh, the pursuer is coming up. Hold on. I got him here in my sight. Flying up, and here we go. The built-in laser is also shooting. And that should be it for this guy. Yup, got him. Nice. What I really don't like is that you get this, you have this 600 meters lock on on the, uh, on the spark. And nobody is in 600 meters. See that? I can't fire empty my weapons now. Even if I want to, I can't unload and fire, in, fire them empty if I want. So now I can. Here we go. Lasering at him. And reloading at the same time, getting hit by some shock train. Uh, this guy is already out of range. Hmm. Let's walk up to him a little bit. 
and fly up here. He, he, he has the robot that can fly with 80% resistance, so I'm gonna focus him now here, because I, uh, there's no reason for me to keep fighting at somebody who's got 80% damage resistance. Alright, I'm gonna hide over here. So we do not get shot down immediately, but that's only because they're busy doing something else, you know? That's the only reason why we're not getting shot down immediately. Um, <laughs> if the enemy was focused towards us, then they would instantly shoot us down. This right there is the, uh, the, what's it called? The invader. It has a ridiculous amount of health. And that's why we can't even kill this thing with everything we've got. <laughs> and we're doing a lot of damage output, by the way. But we were unable to kill it. So where are they going to spawn? In front of us? Behind us? I'm not sure. Flying up again? Extra weapons? Oh, wait a minute, this is the guy with the resistance, so I'd rather talk, talk... Oh, wait a minute, no, 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 it's the guy that I have. It's the, the small one, the, the, the one that you can kill relatively quick, I think. Nice. Alright, we're sitting here behind the spawn, they may not know we're here. Which is pretty cool. Uh-oh, okay, he sees me now. Trying to kill him, but we have the last stand module that will protect us for a couple of seconds. And that was pretty helpful here. And, whoops. Alright, what's going on here? I don't know, he's just sitting there right now. Activating the flight mode for the additional laser weapon, and here we do. Go. Boom. Wow. Not bad. I, I wanted to test the uh, Spark and, uh, and a Spark laser version, and I think the, the Canyon map has just allowed me to do this very effectively. That's awesome. So the next map will ho hopefully be something like Power Plant or Valley, some nice brawling maps. Well, we can use um, the, the brawlers a little bit more. Four times spark is just insane, guys. This is just so brutal. Is there going to be one more robot? I guess we're gonna see. Alright, see that's the flying here. Nice. Looks pretty cool. We have the new thrusters on it now. I think they're all fully modeled. They weren't in the beginning. So we have done a million damage with this robot. Not bad, but if it gets, you know, and that's the thing. We weren't targeted by enemies as much. If we had been targeted some more, we would never have been able to do as much with this one robot. We would have just been killed super quick. Any Aujun or Spectre or whatever you like would simply kill this one very fast because it doesn't have any kind of protection when it flies, right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are on Beacon Rush on Carrier, and uh, I'm trying to use the Halo version of this robot first because um, we can lock enemies down, maybe not give them a beacon, and um, yeah, also deal a lot of dish out a good amount of damage at short range. So let's see if this is going to work, right? Let's see what they're coming with. It's a hell boner. Okay, two hell boners. Wow. Two Hellboners are coming up here. And of course, you know, none of them actually gets locked down. Look. Okay, he got finally locked down. Nice. So let's fly up, get backwards, away from them. And then you see the problem. You fly up and the entire map can immediately hit you. Right? You're not protected from anything. At least I locked this guy down. So he's gonna come for another run now. I'm trying to walk away as quick and as fast as, uh, as far as I can. And now before he has another... Yep, lockdown again. Nice. Whew. At least we got this Hellboner out of the way. <laughs> and we only lost half the HP. But you saw the problem. You want to get away with this robot. You want to not take damage and use your flight ability and mobility to get away. And you end up taking more damage because the entire map sees you flying now. And you have no resistance. So um, yeah, that's, uh, that's a bit of a problem right there. And um, you're gonna have, you're gonna hate playing this robot and using the flight ability because of this. You're gonna really ha hate this part. And I think that um, they should really make this so that uh, instead you pretty much also have a little bit of a resistance, some kind of help, something that helps you pretty much, yeah. Uh, not get vaporized and killed immediately. So there's another hell boner coming in. He's got no more, uh, no more thing. What's it called? Uh. I need to make him use his shield mode right there. Ah, uh, there it is. No, that's another one. Hold on. That's another one. Okay. I thought he just activated it, but it was the uh, the Ares coming around the corner. Alright, let's use the Gust version, alright? Uh, because the Ares has just used its ability, he won't be able to have another one anytime soon. 
And we can come in over there. And you see how much damage we're taking from him. Because we have no resistance, nothing. Even though he just used his ability, and we have our ability fresh at our disposal, we still almost die. Because it's just such a weak robot. So I can really not give any of you guys the uh, uh, any saying and, and say to you, yeah, you should get this one because you surely should. Yeah, well, you just get killed too quick. See this? Getting hit very much. Now I have to land down to try not to get hit by all those rockets that he's shooting. But at the same time, and that's something you need to know, when you trigger the landing on this robot, you know what happens? You can trigger your landing, yeah, that's right, but what you can't do is uh, prevent yourself from, uh, from uh, that, that that will instantly stop your weapons from running. So that's something you need to know. Your weapons will stop firing when you when you trigger your landing. The built-in laser weapon that sh that is supposed to be an argument for this robot will immediately stop using its uh, I I I its thing. It will stop. So let's bring in another robot right here and uh, attack. Right there we go, grilling him. That's the same one that we had. He's got no resistance during its flight, so very easy to kill. Wow, the Ember gets gets down very easily. Very quickly how the Ember loses its charge. Uh-oh. We're getting hit by some kind of rockets from above. So he's trying to wait out his, uh, his stealth cooldown. But I'm trying not to give him that much time. Uh, he's running left and right and left and right and left and right. And he's doing it very well. When the second I decide to not do the the, the move anymore, he uh, <laughs> he gets me pretty good. Okay. Then let's trigger the uh, repair module here. Counter repair some damage. And finally get this guy destroyed. Gee. Man. That was a long time it took to kill him. But I think I was able to show you that the Aokin, it's just, uh, it's the weakest one of those robots, period. And I think uh, the Aojun is definitely the flagship. They have done literally everything they could to make sure that is the case. And uh, the Aoguan is also useful, uh, but the Aojun definitely wins the race in every single matter, uh, or way. <laughs> so yeah, that's still, we needed to make some gameplay from the Aokin. Don't spend your uh, your your credits and stuff upgrading this one. I don't think you're gonna enjoy this one too much, if if it stays the way it is right here. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can it for more. Thanks for being with me. You guys are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye bye.